Okay, you guys, we are in Lowe's. And if you don't know, we are deciding to do a reclaimed wood wall. I've been thinking about doing this for over a year, probably closer to like a year and a half because um, about two years ago, I did a reclaimed wood headboard for my brother um, from wood that I found like on the side of the road. And I cut it and stained it. Hmm? Um, we might uh paint it and so i am now in lowe's because i'm trying to figure out if i'm just going to go ahead and buy the lumber and cut it and you know stain it myself or if i'm going to buy something like this um something like this and then you know just have them already cut and stained and stuff like that and look like that so don't know baby's coming in she was finishing up a phone call in the car so she's in here now or whatnot so not yet i just came in and started recording so that's how the floor is making you feel oh, yeah. you done stepped on my toe you done push my toe back he doesn't that's care <laughs> and on that note i'll check back in with y'all later so what we're doing here with these, um, what are these? These are, these are cedar boards that are um, eight feet long. And we're gonna use these kind of like as the studs behind the planks. We haven't picked out the planks yet. And I think we're gonna end up going something like this. We're just gonna go ahead and do the whole project ourselves. Um, so we've got that and she's laying them on the ground because she just wants to make sure that they're flat and not warped. I'm hoping these will end up rolling right and making the pattern on the wood that I like the best. But I don't think I need to do that much because the wood grain should come through um, pretty well. So we'll get that. We ended up settling on this right here, which is the Mission Oak Men Wax Poly Shade. Because um, I don't have to put the um, polyurethane on it after because I wanted to have like a light gloss. So you just saw that we spent $21.75 on the first part of our project, which was the sponge brushes, the wooden planks that we're going to use as studs, and also the stain and polyurethane. And so now we are at another Home Depot and we're picking up some wood planks. We picked up 17 extra long planks um, and had them cut down into two sizes. And um, they cut them down and so some of the sizes look like this and then some were twice this length and we're going to use these all along our wall babe she's laying them out on the table we don't have a workhorse you guys I know we should probably invest in one but we don't have one and this is working for us really fine so we're not complaining about it but we do need to go ahead and invest in one of those and then all we did was just took the sponge brushes we did not have any sort of rhyme or reason was putting the stain on we just got it on there the best way that we could and since we wanted to get this project done in um, a day or less we just were moving really fast but then we had to have somewhere to dry them as we moved along to the next plank so instead of laying them on the ground where on the concrete the stain could mess up the concrete we laid them on a ladder we just rigged something up and had them dry right here now in the meantime of letting um, them dry we did go ahead and take the other planks that we're using for studs behind the reclaimed wood which really isn't a reclaimed wood they were the cheapest planks that we could find in home Depot we're cutting these down to size to make sure that they're going to fit on our 10 by 12 wall you guys we're also going to be needing some wood screws we chose gold screws I think they might be like a quarter of an inch by um, an inch and a half wood screws but don't quote me on that definitely use the size that is going to work for you someone in Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever hardware store that you're using can direct you into what size screw that you need to be using we put the wooden planks up um, onto the existing studs. So we found the studs in the wall and we um, screwed those in there so that we could go ahead and put the stained wood onto those um, studs, the wooden planks that we put up so that they wouldn't tear down the wall. So it wouldn't damage the dry wood, drywall, you guys. So this entire project, 
I, I do believe if I'm not mistaken because we did this a while ago I think it cost us under 70 bucks I think it was like $68 in total from stain and the sponges and the wood we already had the screws and yeah so you guys this is what the end product looks like we think it looks absolutely amazing I think for us this was an absolutely great job this is the best DIY that we have done especially done together and it made the room look so much different it has a bit of a masculine feel um, and everything and honestly just you know it's something that we did ourselves and we're really proud of it and honestly if we were to move I'd consider taking this wall down and taking it with us because it's just that good of a wall you guys I hope this inspired you to do something different with the spaces in your home make sure you leave us a comment below give us a thumbs up share us with your friends and don't forget to subscribe see you next time Bye bye